What's good, booze? It's Sheen Boo, and you already know. Welcome to Los Angeles. What's good, booze? It's Sheen Boo, and you already know. Today, we're going to be doing a unboxing. I won Jayla Corian's YouTube Hustle giveaway, and I got the ring light. This comes with a 14-inch bi-color LED ring light. It's high-powered and provides a shadowless lighting of any subject. Smartphone mount attaches the included ball head for the perfect capture placement. Bracket can hold one or two additional smartphones for up to three devices, which is crazy. Four section light stand can be adjusted from just 32 inches up to 70 for the perfect height. Boya omnidirectional microphone plugs directly into your smartphone for super clear audio. So yes, I do have a ring light and yes, I am filming with it. Um, this ring light that I'm filming with, the lighting is very quality. I got it from Amazon. If you like, I'll link it down below because I do like it. But I'm also excited to have this ring light because it literally comes with three phone stands. I mean, three phone clamps and a microphone. That's something I never had before and I could literally use because I do have extra phones. And if I wanted to film on my phone, I can get more angles. This ring light is also smaller and it comes with a little kit so I can travel with it. Um, like if I want to get do some photos by myself, like get content for Instagram and stuff like that. So I'm really grateful. Uh, thank you so much, Jayla Corian, for the liar out there that said that she bought cheap stuff. She did not buy cheap stuff. This was not cheap. This is very quality. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you and I'm going to show you exactly what's in it. And I'm going to set it up and then we're going to put the camera on it and see if the lighting is as good as this lighting or if it's better. So first things first, we have our Sunpack bag with the ring light. And the good thing about this one too is it has color temperature so you can adjust the brightness. See how much smaller this is? which is great for traveling, like I said. And it has a dimmer. It has a dimmer switch as well. So let me show y'all what the back look like. See? it's um, These are actually way more durable than my um, ring light that I have now that I got from Amazon because they're constantly sliding off. These aren't going nowhere. These are actually lifted as I speak, but again, it is a good ring light. I'm just comparing it to this one. This is the Sun Pack Ultimate Vlogging Kit. That's what this paper says. We'll refer to that if we need it. So here are what the cords come in. So you have your adapter, your cord with the adapter. Y'all pray for me because I got to set up all three of these cell phone things. Which, your camera can fit on it too. Because you know the tripods always have this universal screw for your cameras and stuff to fit on. So I'm going to, let's move this box out the way. Here's one of the pieces. Here are the phone clamps. So that's all that's in this pouch. So we have the cords to the microphone. Here's the Boya microphone. The cover to... Um, reduce the sound of the wind in background. All right, we have another little box. All right, the base. Here's the stand. I'm like, what's in here? 
So I'm gonna back you guys up right quick so you can see me set it up. The stand is actually pretty good. It's actually identical to the stand that I had. And it has the things here for you to adjust the height. I just wanted to uh, take time to make a video and really appreciate Jayla for the YouTube hustle course. So I'm going to talk about that briefly. Um, I felt like my YouTube, most of my YouTube sisters did, um, you know, my YouTube hustle sisters did a pretty good job already of explaining everything. But the course was really good. Uh, was everything perfect? Perfect? Absolutely not. But for a first run, I think she did an excellent job. And she deserves credit for that. She didn't scam me. She had um, initially said she was looking for 100 girls. And 900 plus girls signed up. And that was the only complaint I can honestly say. It was just a little bit hard on the chat, you know, with all those girls on there. But after a while, I honestly kind of got uh, used to having a bunch of girls on there. And I have a group of uh, about 30 girls that I still talk to like every day from her. So we form like a little subgroup or whatever. I have one... Um, one friend that I talked to every day, just about all day from the class. So it was great for like community and networking. The actual class itself, um, very informative. There was a lot of things that I did already know, but when she said that she was looking uh, for, you know, people who have small YouTubers who have like already started their channel or, um, are people who haven't even started at all because there was literally people in there who haven't even made a channel and like picked a channel name or anything and so i, I was aware of that so some stuff was just kind of like a review for me um, but there's other things that i did learn the photoshop class with iverson was like a v-bomb i learned a lot about photoshop it's way less intimidating now after having watched that class um the people cpa she was actually really really good my camera died, so I'm not exactly sure. Well, it didn't even die. It overheated. I'm using my Sony ZV-1, so I've never had a camera that says the temp is too high. I don't know if it's because it's next to the ring light or not, but it does that. But yeah, there was another lady. I couldn't remember her name, but she did basically talked about how to tell your story effectively and how to impact others through your story. Because as a YouTuber, you are telling a story and... There's a way to do it, to be effective, get across the uh, information that you're trying to communicate um, without boring people. And nobody could tell your story like you can. So I really enjoyed um, her segment on um, telling your story. She has a very impactful story. I'll go and find her name and I'll um, put it up on the screen. But I really enjoyed that. Overall, I must say it was a very good course. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would honestly give it a 9.5. Now, I would give it a 9.5 and not a 10 because there was a few things that, um, like, you know, she was late a few times. But what I understand with her being late is this. She was on a new platform, okay? And people have technical difficulties. Everybody was talking about, like, oh, she showed up 45 minutes late for the first class. Um, and she did, but she did communicate like, hey, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties. Now, the problem that I have with that is don't wait until 30 minutes in to say, like, I'm going to be late. As soon as you know you're going to be late, just let us know. And honestly, that's the only reason that I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Other than that, it was just, it was a new course. There's nothing else to complain about. Um, for those of you who paid just to hate, that's crazy. Like, you can hate for free anywhere else. So, I don't know why you would pay to hate. But I really like Jayla Corian, and I really feel like um, I learned a lot of valuable stuff. She did give a survey at the end. So, if there's anything that you didn't like, you could just put it in a survey. And it's still up. Like, you could still put in the survey. So, all good things to say for the most part. I just need, if you are going to be late, I don't have a problem with that. Jayla just communicated. That's all I have to say about that. But I really enjoy the class. Um, we're still waiting to hear back who won the um, the giveaway for the Boss Babe project. So the giveaway that I won this ring light off of just was the giveaway for participating. There's a Boss Babe project that we all did. 
and we're competing for a brand new 21 inch uh, Mac um, iMac computer. So back to this, cause I actually stopped setting it up. I'm trying to figure out where to put this. I'm looking at the box, just eyeballing it. And it seems like the top part of this right here is where this goes. So I shouldn't have put the, the top of the ring light on yet. So I think I need to take this off. Oops. So the roller ball actually goes here. And screw it onto this. I'm trying to get the ball centered because I've accidentally loosened it up. Then I'm going to put the ring light on. All right, so this is what the ring light looks like. I like to have mine like this all the way up. This is what the ring light is looking like so far. I still have to add the cell phone clamp in the microphone. So this is the where the other cell phone clamp is gonna go. I'm just gonna put it up here for the sake of this video. I don't film with my phone. This is what the back of the ring light looks like. So you're gonna go ahead and plug this in here. This is the power cord and turn it on. See how much brighter it got back there? And then this is the temperature change. So you can change the temperature. Hopefully this doesn't blind you guys, but I don't really know. Here, let me turn this one off. So that's completely off. We're gonna turn it on. See how bright it goes. We're also going to change the temperature. So this is like a nice orange glow. This gives like a nice orangey glow. And then this gives like a, a, a white. And then this is just like ultra, ultra, ultra bright. So I really like that. See, nice and warm. Turn it off. You can adjust the temperature. So it's actually a really good light. Turn my room light back on. Then I'm also going to turn this ring light back on. All right, so let's see what this mic do. So here's the microphone. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on the mic. And then it has the adapter for iPhone. Cause I'm like, I don't have an adapter anymore. This comes in handy. All right, I gotta find it. So you're gonna, if you have an iPhone and this one has one for iPhone, it also has one for Android. So you're gonna put the adapter into your phone and then plug the microphone into your phone. So, let's see if I have to like Bluetooth connect it or something. So you're gonna turn it on, on. Do you need batteries? Cause I switched it to on and it's not lighting up.
Alrighty, so. Let me figure, oh, I need a battery. So, let me take my phone off. You need a, this is why you should read the instruction first. You need a triple A battery. And I believe I have that. So let me go get a battery and put it in there. Adapter and a cord. And now we're gonna set this on top of the ring light. And that'll be the end of the video. So this is my light, it's all set up. I got my phone connected, I got my mic. I got a space for two extra phones. And here's the cord, the adapter that I got plugged in the wall. I showed you guys the on and off switch right here. So this is how you turn the mic on and off. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Thanks again to Jayla Corian for the giveaway. For the ring light, I won the giveaway. So I really appreciate you, Jayla, if you're watching. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to Jayla Corian for this ring light. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and play around with it. And whatever video that I use it for, I will let you know that I'm using it so that you guys can see how it works. But this is the lighting for my current ring light. And this is the lighting from my new ring light from my sun pack. So it's good. It works really good. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time. Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Sheen, Sheen Boo. You already know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time. Snapchat and all of that. You already know where Sheen Boo is at. Sheena Sheen Boo. You already know. Good night, Los Angeles.